Hi, in this video I'm going to be talking about Fibonacci extensions uh, and why they're used and how we plot Fibonacci extensions on a price chart, um, on a candlestick chart. So um, with Fibonacci extensions, they are used as uh, profit targets by uh, traders. So let's go to... Uh, Let's have a draw of the retracement. So in the last video, we were looking at retracement. So this being the 100% retracement and this obviously being zero. And then this is percent. So try prices haven't retraced. This is a 100% retracement. If price does actually come down back to this low, this is the high and we look for you know numbers like the 23.6 the uh, 38.2 level 6.18786 etc etc now um obviously in an uptrend we're looking for a chasement to come back down to a level this may be you know the um let's just say this say for argument's sake it's the 38.6 level and we want to be a buyer at this level. Now, for a Fibonacci extension, um, we want to find out or we want to project into the future how far the trend may continue going, right? So we don't know how far prices will, uh, will go. So if we are buying here, and we want to make uh, we want to ride this potential wave higher so this is the low high and potential higher high which will make this the higher low um, we would like to have some profit targets so we have um, a few uh, Fibonacci ratio um, extension numbers that are again derived from the Fibonacci sequence. So the most popular ones are the 1.272. The other one, other two are the 1.414 and the 1.614. Oops, sorry about that. Six one eight, um, and those are Fibonacci extensions. Those are levels that will be above um, the zero level. Now it might not make sense to you right now, but once we draw this on a price chart, you will basically understand uh, these ratios and exactly how to plot them and how they work so let's go to a price chart so here we have the daily chart on the australian dollar japanese yen currency pair and we're looking for price projections once we enter on a retracement so um let's take for example this swing here this uh, this leg right so we have a high and then we have a retracement so we get our Fibonacci tool and then we project I will say we look for the retracement back into a particular level and as you can see from here that seemed to be a resistance level and now it has turned support so the 38.2 had uh, percentage level retracement had a bit of confluence um, historically right so what we're looking for now is once we have entered here how far will price go um, you know uh, into the future uh, and we want to look at those uh, ratios so the 1.272 the 1.414 or the 1.618 now if we go into the uh, Fibonacci tool and we actually put these prices in, so we've got the 1.272, the 1.414, the 1.618, and 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 the 
the 1.414 and the 1.618 what you'll see is is prices have actually been extended the other way right so obviously this is 0 0 0.2 0 0.38 0 0.5 and um, this is one so anything above one is actually going to be the other way so the 1.272 1.414 1.618 1 but what we want to do is actually have these projections to the upside right so if you're on trading view what you can do is you can use this reverse feature and once you press reverse, <clears throat> sorry about that. Once you press reverse, it now projects the levels above where you want to uh, you want to try and take some sort of profit, right? So now we've inverted it, and now we've got our projections in the future and profit potential profit targets we may have a risk of, let's do a long position. Let's say for example, this was our candlestick entry and maybe our stop is below the low and we want to obviously go for uh, more than a one-to-one -one risk reward ratio, we can actually set our profit target. So if we go for a 1.272 extension, if our and if our stop loss was basically below the uh, the support level and below the what where we would have entered, we would be looking at a risk reward ratio of two point seven five to one. If we went for the one point four one four, we'd be looking at a three point nine percent risk reward ratio. And if we went for a target of one point six one eight, which it eventually met. And you can see it just kind of pinged off the level and pinged off the level. Um, we'd be going for a 4.55 to 1 risk reward ratio. So this is uh, a very good way for traders to project into the future where prices may want to, uh, you know, basically reverse from. So again, we'll do another example of this on this chart. So again, let's go to our Fibonacci retracement tool and let's take this leg here. So from this level to here, because we've obviously reversed it, what we want to do is reverse it back. And again, it's coming to the 38.2% level. And then if we look to the left, it looks like that was a level of support support resistance didn't act as resistance this time around but resistance acts as support here so we had some confluence at this level we had an engulfing candle there and if we were looking for a projection now what we would want to do is inverse the Fibonacci tool and look for potential extensions. So as you can see, if we get our risk reward tool. If we entered on this candle here with our stop somewhere below here, we can see that at the 127, uh, 1272, yep, um, extension, we'd be looking at a 1.2 uh, risk reward, a 1.414, and we'll be looking at the uh, 1.67 and then as you can see at the 1618 where prices came up to again we had the uh, basically prices you know stopped around here didn't move higher so um, as well as profit targets um, which is basically what the extensions are popularly kind of really popular um, what they used for um, you can also use the Fibonacci extensions as um, levels of support and resistance or confluence as support and resistance because if we maybe look to the left and see if there was any kind of a 
support or resistance level at that level um, yeah potentially actually there was and look like let's have a look also right so if we extend all the way back at this level you can start to see it was an area of interest so we had support support bit of resistance when prices came back up into this level it would have been a good level to look to take some sort of profit so Fibonacci extensions are um, are great ways to look to take profit and when you're riding the trend um, if you want to also if you're using trading view and you don't want to use the uh, the reverse feature in the with the Fibonacci uh, sorry, retracement tool, so you don't have to always keep reversing it. What you can do, they have a tool which is the Fibonacci trend based Fib extension. I'll go back to that again. So it's the trend based Fib extension, and it will give you the same uh, extensions. And how you use it is you go from the low to the high again. If you were, um, you know, looking for an uptrend, it's always you drag in the direction you want to trade, and then what you would do is go back down to the low, and this gives us again our projection. If I was to go back to the Fibonacci retracement and do the same thing here, and then reverse the levels you can see that they exactly match so you have two ways of using the um, uh, well of how to project with the Fibonacci extensions so um, hopefully that helps and if you do have any questions just email me at uh, info at trading180.com